Okay, yesterday what we have seen, we have seen about the logbox configuration and functionality of the logbox. Okay, and what are the possibilities are there from uh, logbox file? Okay, when we upload the logbox file, there are two file formats are there. One is a BAI, another one is a BAI2 file format. Okay, what is the difference between both also? I have explained and what are the configuration metrics to be required to perform the <coughs> logbox file in real time what will happen okay i will explain to you once again in real time how the process will be integrated for the logbox process one moment i open the system okay so in real time now what we are doing we are uploading the file manually because we do not have the interface integration at this moment so that is the reason i have prepared manually the file the file this is the format bi2 file format where you can see so this is the file format where you can see i have already explained you okay what is this is the header contains what is the header contains this is the okay header data and this is the i just have changed this one this is the this is the uh, destination let me open once again the file the file what we what i have used for Material. I'll explain you. A format template. Okay, you can see here each and every line, each and every record, what it is representing. Record number one, what is representing? Okay, record number, record number one, if we talk about, okay, what is 100, what is 200? Okay, how many, what is the record number one if we can say okay now you can see here this is the file format okay because yesterday i have shown you where the the data is going to store in which table so okay according to that tables so we need to prepare the data now you can see here line number one means what i did initially okay record type record type is a one okay and also priority code of the log box and everything how what is the length of each and every okay uh, each and every field then afterwards so what i have done what i have done what is the input value of this record type one is a one okay priority code the same way what you can see here even in sap also one is a okay record and priority type then afterwards so what is their destination for the log box then origin for the okay transmission then afterwards file date you can see 2205 Zero 07 now here what i have done i have given is that 22 is the financial year 07 is the month 29 is the date now this is the 09 0902 is the time okay 09 okay 02 is the time then afterwards what is the second okay this is the line number one even i have clubbed all together all this information then i made it one record okay the same record which i have included here this is the okay now you can see the header data total number of okay total all the information if we need to include all the information then we do, then it will become one record now record number two what it is going to represent record number two now you can see what is the service record number okay what is the length of the service record yesterday i have shown you there are total eight or nine tables are there according to the table structure we need to prepare this log box because this is a template what i have prepared myself then now you can see origin of the transmission but it is repeating okay reference code of the log box what is the length now if i clubbed here this this and everything now you can see here total is a line number two now <clears throat> record number five record number five what it contains each and everything now you can see record number five if you want the more information what exactly the record layout show you complete the information configuration matrix what is the going to represent the record number one and record number two okay this is the process it's not the one
Okay, now you can see this is the table what I have already shown you. Okay, now let us see what is going to represent the record number one and record number two. If you want, okay, how to upload the file, I will show you. Okay, this and all, it's a common. Else it is not there. Okay, now you can see here the each and everything it has been represented. What is the how we are going to map how we need to map that log box number one word log box number file number one. What it is scenario number one. Okay, each and everything it has been described here. Okay, how we can upload. Okay, the file how to prepare the file. Okay, this and all the this is the information which we uh, which I'm I will share with you. Okay, so what is the information of this one each and everything it has been explained in this document. What is the use of that one? Okay, how to prepare the log box file. Okay, then I will share with you that file that file so that it will be easy for you to understand. Okay, now record number five. Okay, it is going to have what? information record number five it is having now we can say record number six is the invoice information what it will have now okay based on the table how system is going to read we need to map this information this is the amount remember this is the total amount now you can see 240 plus 300 total how much it has become total how much is a 540 now you can see this is the length of the record here you can see here the record number five remember sorry record number six what you can see please remember here the record number six this is the check number means what is the check number which we have received from the customer and at the same time this is the total amount of the invoice okay how much amount okay how much customer how much amount customer has made the payment and what is the total amount of the invoices means let's say customer made the payment let us assume on behalf of two invoices two open items net then here we need to main uh, the, the system means if when we are preparing the file manually then we need to maintain total amount of the invoices here but in real time what will happen the bank is going to provide this file okay we don't we don't want to prepare this file by manually okay now you can see here this is the total amount of this one okay now how now here it is the invoices amount length then here is the invoice number okay to identify the particular invoice okay what will happen then this is the total amount in case let's say for example if invoice will not identified in the system what system does it is going to post to the on account okay i will show you the scenario how system is going to post now the whatever the instructions now i have given okay what is the remittance amount the total total amount we need to maintain here and record number seven and also record number eight also we have to maintain three times now you can see here based on the table then okay, then the record number nine the last number is a record total we have to prepare around six or seven records okay this is the complete the okay file format okay based on this file format we need to prepare the log box file okay now for in for one invoice i have prepared and i have successfully processed okay now let us see what we can do i'll post one invoice into the system of dash 22 See now here even I have given the date today's date 29th of 07 2207. Okay, this date it is optional for you. Which date you want, you can give it. Okay, just for your information only. This is a file format completely of the log box file. Here in this for log box file, the invoice amount which I have included is a one lakh rupees. Okay, but only one lakh means afterwards, based on the characters, I have included the additional zeros. Remember, don't confuse. But what we'll do. We'll post the invoice, customer invoice. Okay. 
how system is going to perform. Let's see. Okay. Two lakh fifty thousand rupees. Let's let us give the two lakh fifty thousand rupees invoice amount. Customer account is going to debit, sales account is going to credit. Now let's see. Document simulated. Customer, this was the customer what I have created yesterday for our testing purpose. Then let's see. Posting the document. Now the document 7009, it has been posted. Okay, now let us take this one the document customer customer invoice 7009 okay now let us assume 7009 it has been posted now let us go in the fbl 5n let's see Okay, we'll prepare the file. Meanwhile, here BL five N. Okay, first we need to adjust the amount. Okay, we are, what we have given, we have given the amount is a two lakh fifty thousand rupees invoice customer invoice amount. We need to. Okay, this is a customer. Then display the customer master record. Means we are checking whether the line item now you can see that two lakh fifty thousand rupees which is there back and let us see cleared item all items because yesterday night what i did i have i have for this one only remember for this one only the one lakh rupees which i have processed okay by uh, log box only i have uploaded it means the system has been cleared okay now let me open the open item let us check it okay only one one open item which we have is a two lakh fifty thousand rupees now let us do the adjustments here okay in this file okay please concentrate here okay what i have mentioned is the okay the line number five onwards which we have to start the amount okay now what i'm doing here one lakh rupees the invoice value two lakh fifty just i'm just including in here also the same And also check number here the line number six it is a record number six it contains check i am just changing you giving the check number instead of check we have one check number one we have already processed then i am i am changing the check number two okay now this and all i will okay date it let it be because we are giving that same date okay just forever then here also i will do the changes 25 and the same time Remember, and also I have explained you the log box. It's a famous in US. Okay, most are the companies. Ninety percent are the companies using this functionality, and also it is a weightage for your resume. Okay, if you when you are going to update your resume, okay, you need to aware of complete end-to-end -end process of the log box. Okay, the format of the log box. Okay, now we have done changes. Okay, how we can upload the file into the system? Okay, now.
the transaction code is a FLB2 is the transaction code to upload the logbox file. Okay, remember always you need to select the PC upload. Okay, both options should be selected. Okay. Because here the this is the one import into bank data storage some in real time what will happen okay the files whatever the files we are receiving from the bank the files which are storing into the okay application server path okay application server path okay even I was keep on telling that means the transaction code is SC11 okay within a SAP system sorry AL11. AL11 is the transaction code within SAP system. Okay, the files are whatever the files, whether incoming files or outgoing files. Okay, whatever it may be, the files are storing into the okay SAP system application directory. Okay, because for this one, where okay, now you can see what is the file. Okay, where need to be stored. This will be disconfigured by the base system. Okay, based on the program. Okay, based on this program, okay, they are going to do the configuration okay so i mean as per consultant as per the functional consultant instructions okay this will be okay configured by the base system okay where the files now let's say for example i will open one file means this is not the logbox file but i'm just showing this one what how to check the file in the sap system sometimes maybe in interview they may ask you do you know about where about the okay ale file ale Okay, now you can see this is the file. Right, the global data. Let's see, it's not existing. Okay, now you can see there are many files are available here. Now this is the path. Okay, directory in the this is the transaction code of AL11. AL11 is the directory where the files are storing. Okay, here the files are storing incoming files and outgoing files. Okay, from here you see as soon as now we have seen F110 for automatic payment program after running automatic payment program. What program is going to do then automatically the file the DMU file it is going to generate it. It will be placed into this application path. Okay from here the PI system will pick up and it will process the file. Okay the same logic here also. Okay as soon as we receive the okay logbox file from the bank then it will get stored into in this application path okay based on our configuration okay what will happen from here our program the flb2 whatever the program we are seeing now okay this is the program will be set up by as a job okay by ma uh, mean without manual intervention what system does it is going to pick that file and it will process the okay file okay now Always remember input record format always BI to file format only remember then select the file whatever the file we have created then select this file. Then see in cache invoice. Okay number check. Okay, you need to select this one. Then here you must have to aware of this one. Okay, invoice numbers. Remember there are different different options are there. Okay, while identifying how system is going to understand. Okay, now we need to change the one more thing here. We have not yet changed the okay invoice number here. See now 7009 we have posted the document, but we have not changed. Okay, we need to change the invoice number here also. Okay, now we have changed it now. Let us come to here. OK, now he, now you can see while process how system is going to identify what is the basis now here. There are different criteria are there. Number one option number one whether we want to identify only the document number. OK, Belnar don't confuse. This is the OK field name where it is going to identify. OK, then reference document number. OK, these fields where you can see. OK, from where you can see I will show you in SAP system. If I go to the customer line item display the header information that is the header information see now you can see i will display okay display this one now you can see now the document number what what system is telling that okay first document number is a belnar field first priority okay which we are giving is a belnar the field is that now this is the okay belnar field now how to check that one whether it is a now f1 always click f1 
now you can see belnar this is the field where the system is going to giving a first priority means the system we are giving instruction to the system first check the document number then the second criteria the second criteria if system does not identified the document number what is the next criteria please check the reference number of the okay document number now the reference number where you can see the reference number here the reference number it is there now you can see the reference number now you can see here xb lnr now you can see in this now you can see xp lnr okay now what there are different different criteria are available okay while okay while searching the document in the system okay the uh, whatever the option we are going to give okay the same system is going to check okay either you can give document number for searching or either you can give reference document number or either you can give the option number 3 document number first and if document number not found okay then the second criteria is that means 1 and 2 means 2 are becoming is a 3 means document number first priority if it, if we are unable to find system is not able to find then check the reference number reference document number first and if not found the document number okay document number first and then the reference and amount okay which one you want to okay select the number three remember okay then here algorithms okay this is also important one now you can see the on account postings okay distributed by the date earliest okay what is mean by on account posting okay i will explain you okay this is the same let it keep the on account postings only if you want to assign value date means for all the business transactions we need to assign the okay the value date and also if required is a business area and profit center also where you can give okay then on account postings in the sense suppose for example for for this customer okay for this customer let's say for example for this customer how much value it is there two lakh fifty thousand rupees it is there okay then we have received okay payment from the customer let's say two lakhs rupees okay that is the partial payment okay because what system does it is going to directly post to the because system does not know okay the amount how to adjust and let's say for example we have the 10 invoices out of 10 invoices we customer made the payment okay on account posting remember on account on account on account postings let's say for example i have i have the invoices invoices i have one two three four two is there three is there four is there now the invoice amount let's say for example invoice amount invoice amount what i am having for this one is a one lakh rupees for this one is a two lakh rupees for this one is a let's say for example two lakh fifty thousand rupees for this one also same okay now how much the total is the total amount which i could see is a eight lakh rupees is the open item okay now out of this eight lakh rupees the customer made the payment okay customer made customer made payment customer made payment okay five lakh five lakh rupees okay customer made payment five lakh rupees what we need to do at this point of time okay system does not know system does not know against which invoice customer made the payment okay what what system does it is going to post this total amount to, to this customer to this customer it's a direct postings then afterwards what we need to what we need to do we need to the end users are going to adjust means against which invoice customer made the payment okay that is the business act business activity they are going to do the adjustments okay this this we can say is on account postings remember okay on account postings now okay now what we have done okay we have prepared the file this is the file okay when you are going to upload now let us upload the file okay and also one more thing okay i will show you that one because yesterday i have uploaded the files for testing purpose as part of testing okay the file which is already exist in the system existing in this system so that is the reason some system will not process this file okay let's see that whether system will not process or will process
okay system has been processed successfully remember system has been processed successfully because yesterday night itself i have okay i what i did i have deleted the file okay now for example okay please understand here first i will explain you in case okay first i will explain you here after processing the lockbox file this file what we have whatever the file we have prepared okay this is the file we have processed successfully okay how you can check it now see as soon as possible the file once the logbox file will get processed remember here you need to check it if there are any errors the system will give okay messages means the error messages what system is going to display the error messages are in case if the file okay let's say for example okay our invoice value is a 250000 rupees okay now we are we have received payment from the customer 3 lakh rupees okay by mistake then even system will display message here okay the difference the clearing difference is too large okay that system is going to display the message sometimes if we are unable to process then the system will give will give the error messages here remember then the next one is that now you can see okay this is the amount what invoice value it is having okay fine check number now you can see the check number 002 what we have given in the system the system has okay the six okay the check number it has been okay identified then the next one is that amount the invoice amount what it is having 250000 rupees and remember one please please concentrate here always here document this is the posting area 1 and posting area 2 okay when we were processing even in the manual bank uh, manual bank statements also we have seen posting area 1 posting area 2 okay posting area 1 which is relevant for the okay gl account posting posting area 2 which is for the okay sub ledger posting means accounts receive either it's accounts receivable or accounts payable whatever it may be the posting area 2 which is relevant for the sub ledger postings remember then the it's a, if the document if the document could have been applied a, on account okay then separate document was generated instead of this one okay then the status is been applied okay item then this is the just information only part okay payment advice information what it has been generated now see status 2907 okay applied the doc the invoice value what we could see here two lakh fifty thousand rupees okay one invoice it has been posted into the system now remember Okay, so um, if you want, you can drag this side, no errors. Okay, what we have done, we have processed the invoice successfully, okay, with the logbox, with help of the logbox, we have processed. Then, see, remember document number 33, document number 808. Now, let us check if you want, okay, we can check the document number. FB03. Go to the document list, give the financial year, enter the documents which you want to display here. So the document number 33 and 8018. 33 and 8018. Execute it. Now you can see these are the two doc. These are the two documents which has been posted by the system. Now you can see IDBA. Now you can see here IDBA main bank account. It has been debited. Remember IDBA check deposit account. It has been credited. Okay, the amount is means we are receiving payment from the customer. Remember and also I think you remember. Okay, these are the accounts which we have configured. Okay, in in when we are receiving payment from the okay what is the main bank account what is a check deposit account even we have done the configuration for man when we were there into the manual bank <coughs> statement configuration okay manual brs configuration purpose we did the configuration now we can see check deposit account it is credited main account it has been credited uh, sorry debited okay now go back what is the 8018 the document number now you can see <coughs> Customer has been credited. Remember, customer has been credited. As soon as we receive check from the customer, 
okay customer has been credited check deposit account was credit check deposit account was debited then the same logic as soon as once the amount will credited to our main bank account then the main bank account will be debited then check deposit account is credited remember this these are the doc two documents which are generated okay now let us go back let us go back here okay now we understood the document 33 and 8018 how system has been applied the cash okay now go back don't straight forward don't close the screen remember then go back once again go back remember now here you need to understand one more thing here whether the system has been identified the document number or not see 7009 the document which is already been okay which identified and document found here always you could see here and also remember the check number is a 250000 rupees always advice number and check number both should get match okay remember <coughs> okay based on this number based on this document number system will identify the okay document number and it will process okay remember in case okay now this is the scenario what we have seen okay we in in the the invoice system has been identified the invoice number then we have processed file successfully the logbox file what we have seen okay now as soon as we process then customer line items let us now you can see now you can see there are no line items there are no line items means what system i will open cleared items okay all all items now you can see 250000 rupees we have posted okay this was the invoice amount then after as soon as we receive payment from the customer as soon as we applied the okay cash through the log box file the invoice itself it got cleared by automatically this was the invoice amount this is the clearing document you can see now even this customer does not have the open items this is what the functionality of the log box okay if it is a discount then system is going to calculate the discount whatever if it is a tax relevant then the system is going to calculate the okay taxes okay then the next thing is that suppose we have received the payment the same as the invoice amount okay now let's say for example if the system will not identify the okay invoice sometimes what will happen okay if system will not identify the documents that could be the reason system unable to process the line items okay what will happen at that point of time then to process the okay the the file whatever the data which we receive from the bank okay the the line items which are not processed okay but still the line items we have to process by manually okay the transaction code is a flb1 is the transaction code here here if there are any okay we need to give the destination origin lock box number and date okay based on this criteria then the system is going to identify if there are any unprocessed line items are open then we need to select the line item we need to process it that's it here okay the flb1 is the transaction code where we can where we need to process the lock box for lock box line items which 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 the line items were not processed by the system this is the manual activity maybe some document number did not identified by the system or some reference number did not identified by the system or customer number not identified maybe different different criteria are there okay so that system unable to process those line items so what we need to do we need to process the line items which are not processed by system by manually remember okay this is the completely of the log box process okay log box is a very very important one okay just for your information we have 